All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, and uh, bless to the elect, double honest to our apostles slash elders, which are GMS who rule well. Uh, with that being said, um, I want to get, I'm going to just say it straight up, man. Fuck all that positive thinking mentality. This is what this lesson is going over. All that positive thinking mentality is, um, um, it, is, it reminds me of what Bain said when he said, victory has made you weak. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know how you go on, you, you niggas are trying to go on vacation too much. You understand? This is, this truth is not a thing uh, of, of giving yourself, of enjoying yourself. Matter of fact, let's just get into the scriptures. So we're gonna get into Ezekiel chapter two, verse ten. Now, uh, select it. Uh, Ezekiel nine, the two in chapter ver two, chapter two, verse nine, says that when I looked, behold, and uh, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was written which is the scriptures, uh, a roll of a book was therein. It says, he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written within therein lamentation and mourning and woe. You know what I'm saying? That's what's written within the scriptures. You know, not this positive, you're going to get a blessing, it's all going to be all good as spirit. Because first off, and, and foremost, we don't deserve to have it good, you know what I'm saying? Because of uh, uh, what's said in, in uh, Baruch, the Baruch, um, Baruch the fourth chapter, he said he he has sold us to his enemies because we um to to our enemies because we drove him to anger, man. You know what I'm saying? You you niggas are like a bunch of crybabies. You a bunch of uh, uh, narcissistic, uh, uh, selfish people. You do all this bullshit and you expect the to, to go to the Lord. Even prophetically, the Lord already set the times up, but you doing all this shit in this time and in the past life, and then expect to go to the scriptures, then it's all good. It's all rainbows. That's why a lot of niggas fall out that, that are on low base. That's why people can't endure. You know what I'm saying? So, matter of fact, let's get it, because the last lesson I spoke on it, you know, I guess the spirit just... just All right, so Hebrews what? Um, Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 24, says, By faith, when he was, um, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter, uh, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Right? So, it's not all trying to do what, what makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? There's an old old statement called no pain, no gain. You know, and positive thinking is not, that's not, not, that's not synonymous with pain. You know what I'm saying? Or, or uh, uh, doing it the easy way, or, or doing it the relieving way. Ignorance is bliss type of attitude, man. No, you're supposed to be willing to endure affliction. All right? Matter of fact, Let's see what the scripture says about it. All right. All right. Um, so like if it takes so long, I can. Uh, Pass it, pull off. Oh, it's like I'm in chapter one. That's what it is. All right. 
So it says here, straight off, Ecclesiastes or Sirach chapter 2 verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? Set thy heart aright and are constantly endure and make haste, make not haste in time of trouble. You know what I'm saying? So it's already telling you, you about to go through some shit. But stay focused, man. You know what I'm saying? This is not like, uh, there's bullshit this way or it's a hard road this way. I'm about to go over here where it's a clear a clear path, man. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta claw and dig for thing, dig for this, man. There's nothing, really, in, in reality, there's nothing in life that you don't claw and dig for, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to, uh, you'll do it. You that's, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? You niggas are, are, are willing to claw and dig for the world, but you're not willing to do the same for the most high. Like, the most high got to kiss your ass, man. You ain't shit. Ain't none of us shit, man. But you two-thirds of you niggas that had that mentality, you definitely ain't shit. Like, you got world-changing, uh, 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 life-changing mentality and, and self-sacrifice and abilities. Niggas, niggas won't even give up a, you know, something that they, they won't give up a fucking hundred dollars if they had two billion in their pocket, man. And if they do it, they won't show everybody they did it. You know what I'm saying? But then you won't turn around and expect the most high to uh, approve of your ways, all right? Lock it. I can. All right. So we're gonna go into Jeremiah four and twenty two. It says, "For my people." Are, um, my, fe my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children, and they have not understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You can sit here, you can you can get it out the mud when it comes to selling drugs, or selling your pussy, or stripping, or, or, or working hours after hours, or, or, or being a hoe, or being a, a two third nigga. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to serving the Lord, you don't got the time. That's why y'all, when you're walking past on the highways and byways, while we out there on the highways and byways, you act like you ain't got no time. Where are you headed? Where the fuck are you going? You know what I'm saying? 24 hours out of the day, you work eight, you sleep eight, that's 16 hours that you got free. You know what I'm saying? And let's say you do eight hours, you know what I'm saying, of uh, uh, Salaki, that's um, not 16, but... Uh, that's eight hours that you have left. Let's say you put four hours of just fucking chilling, two hours of cooking, two hours of watching, whatever. You mean you ain't got an hour, 30 minutes of your time to sit there and, and, and listen to the word of the Lord or put energy toward the, toward the most high? You know what I'm saying? Just like I tell, I tell, tell Aki, man, um, amongst, amongst the camps, like, oh, man, I'm busy. I ain't got no time. You got 24 hours in a day. You got to make time, man. Like, like the Lord ain't going to provide you with time to serve him or something like that. You ain't got time to read. You mean to tell me the Lord will put so much of a burden on you that he's not going to allow you to serve him? You know what I'm saying? He say, name, name who have trusted in me and was confounded. He is going to provide a way out, man. Every day you got to wait. You know, you got time to pray. You got time to read. It only take about 30 minutes at the most. If you read one chapter, it don't even take that. You know? An hour reading, it, it should be decent enough. You know, that should be, you know, of course, a, like a bare minimum, 30 minutes, 45, out your whole day, out of 24 hours. Then you got off days, you know. And, and, and this, my, my point is, motherfuckers just don't want to, to, uh, to strive for the truth. That's what it says, strive. Strive for the truth.
Stop trying to take the easy road. All right? The scriptures tell you strive for the truth unto death, man. You know? This ain't about this ain't about uh taking the easy road and making it easy for you. All right? This ain't this ain't about making it like catering to your to your soul, man, while you in, in, in Babylon, man. This 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 is not this is, if you gotta if if you can't go the hard road, if you can't dig, you can't push yourself to a limit and pass that limit and willing to, to sweat and uh, bleed and, and make your body a living sacrifice on these highways and byways and do what you gotta do and deny yourself. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't willing to you know what I'm saying, uh uh to, to get salvation, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you you gotta deny yourself. It ain't about pleasing yourself here. You in slavery, man. You know, you niggas trying to, you know, uh, 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 you're in prison and you're trying to put fucking, uh, 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 you're drawing Nike signs on your fucking clothes and shit. You're cutting your, your shoes into sandals. You know, you're making all kind of fucking nigger rig gel shit and trying to make your, make gel the shit, man. You niggas trying to decorate a booty hole, basically. You're just trying to decorate shit and, 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 and turn it into a beautiful cake. It's still shit. You're still, you're still in America, man. This motherfucker ain't shit, man. Ain't no, ain't no positive. Let's have fun. Let's, let's be easy. Everybody be cool. Why we gotta be like that? Why we gotta argue in it? No, it's a fucking job to do, man. All right. From, from dealing with the acumen. If you're, if you're a camp leader. Making sure everything is in order. You got to be a fucking asshole. It ain't about just like, oh, man, you know, I don't want to cause up no... Like, no, fuck that. That's a part of the job, man. We out there on the highways and byways. You know what I'm saying? Because the most I said, if you're going to be ashamed of me, and I'm going to be ashamed of you on that day. So when you're on the highways and byways and somebody asks you a question and it's controversial to the point that you'll get... You know you're going to get into an argument with them. You don't hold your tongue or try to, to lead it off somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You know, you don't deny the Lord if, if it's a scripture that, that that don't rub you the right way because you like that fucking smothered pork chop. You try to find the scripture that condone what the what what you want to do. This ain't this ain't that type of party, man. First off, you should be a, a seeking to please the Lord in the first place, ten times more. All right, you should already have that mentality. And for two, like scripture say, seek that which is well pleasing unto Him. You know. Should never be satisfied with chilling. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 never a, a mentality of a man that wants salvation, man. That's not the mentality of a man that wants to get the fuck out of here, man. You know? All that taking it easy and positive thinking and, and, and cooling it out. No, you gotta get up and you, you gotta keep working, you gotta keep digging. You know what I'm saying? Blessings gonna come and afflictions gonna come also, man. You know? All right, so First Peter chapter four. Uh, uh, First Peter chapter four, verse six, uh, fourteen. The point is in sixteen. It says, "If ye be reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye for the spirit of glory, and uh, of the Most High uh, rest of, and of the Most High rest of upon you." On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Let no man, that, uh, so like, let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busy, busybody in other, other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a, yet if any man suffer as a Christian, or the, or as the anointed, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Israel and. And, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? Point one in this passage that I just read is that you will suffer whether you're in the truth or whether you're out the truth. You know what I'm saying? Point two is when you suffer in the truth. Really, no point two is that the most high is going to begin with the elect. 
You know what I'm saying? He's going to begin with Israel. And as he gets along, once he gets to the, the he's going to start off with the elect. And once he gets to the wicked, and then he's going to get to the two-thirds. Then he's going to, uh, 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 it's like the, not the wicked, but the two-thirds. Then he's going to go to the heathen. Then he's going to go to Esau. It's going to get worse progressively. It's going to get worse progressively, man. So why would you suffer? You're going to suffer anyway, but why get caught being a nigga instead of being a, a, um, the elect, man? All right, that's what it says when, when you have that 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 um that forward and gentle master. You know what I'm saying? Why why talk back when you write? You know what I'm saying? Learn how to take your L, man. You deserve. Look at it like this. You deserve. We all deserve an L, man. Every fucking day, you did. We all did things that we we deserve death. And if it wasn't for y'all by shimmy, I was shy. Y'all was shy. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be able. We wouldn't be able to to uh, uh be reconciled, man. So. Basically, show some appreciation and gratitude. Shut the fuck up. Take your L's. Take your licks. Take your charge. And, and bear your cross and get the job done. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to put that out there. With that being said, I'm going to say, call hello to your how about Shimmy Shai, Double honest high apostle slash elders. And uh, bless the citations to your brothers who are enduring and teaching truth and sincerity. I have a thumb. I can. Shalom.